he gets all the infinity stones. He can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Christopher Robin. Copyright laws for long-established properties are one heck of a hypocritical mess, with Disney as the primary example of abusing their powers to extend their rights to an insane degree. Them in particular do this, despite the fact that it shouldn't be allowed in the first place according to the copyright laws. Personally, I think it is only fair and natural that media should eventually become public domain and not be held hostage by one single holder for an eternity. However, at long last, we're beginning to see some bigger properties actually become available for the public to freely use in creative works, with Steamboat Willie and Popeye being some huge ones coming up. And last year, the honey loving stuffed bear entered the grasp of the people. Now, everyone is allowed to make Winnie the Pooh content based on the original books as they please. Potentially this opens up possibilities for others to do genuinely great interpretations of the iconic tale and put new twists on them in ways that couldn't be done before. Or it could be the excuse for a sheepskate to do a quick and poor cash grab to capitalize on a property while it's a new thing that anyone can do anything with it. Case in point, we now have Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey. It sure is one rushed out piece of garbage. In the story, we follow a group of forgettable girls that are on a vacation. Almost immediately after settling in a cabin in the Hundred Acre Woods, they are pursued by none other than Pooh and Piglets that have become monstrous killers after Christopher Robin left them behind for college. So now the girls have to escape the sadistic creatures and along the way discover how brutal the animal duo can really be. So think like a dark, fucked up version of the recognizable character, showing off how twisted the filmmakers' minds truly are. <laughs> Everything points towards this being pushed out the door, and it is the most obvious in the film's overall incompetency and cheapness behind it. Pooh and Piglet are just two slow walking guys with poorly made masks that don't even slightly attempt at being convincing. They don't have anything else for their costumes except for those masks and even those look stupid and tend to sometimes slip up to reveal a bit of the actors. They do not talk at all, of course. You think they would attempt to hire voices for these guys? Come on, that would actually cost some money. So instead, we just have them generically grunt, taking away the little chance of having a smidge of personality to this flick. <laughs> because there is really none to speak of here whatsoever. Pooh and Piglet are just slow-moving one-dimensional killers that just want to torture things and the girls are illogically stupid for the sake of plot convenience as they lack any sort of character except for screaming a ton. The characters being more than that is never really touched upon. The supposed scares are pathetic, just standing around while the monster slowly walks towards someone or just agonizingly standing there is not tension, it is meandering and the movie does it constantly. When there is an attempt at a more action heavy scene, it is so painfully slow and doesn't even compare to the robot escape sequence from Spongebob. They desperately try to mask its tameness with intense camera shakes, obnoxious sound cues or most of all an abundance of mindless gore. Over relying on showing brutal imagery does not equal to something being scary. It just ends up making me say ew instead. The shared amount of it here and the fetishistic way the kills are presented just makes me feel gross watching it. For example, one scene portrays a girl being attacked by Pooh and she's about to be forced down a wood shredder, but out of nowhere the bear starts ripping off her shirt making her topless before killing her. I first thought that this was to imply that the killers have sexual desires too, other than being sadistic, but no, it was just a juvenile addition that truly showcases the film's priorities. The entirety of this movie just 
boils down to tasteless torture porn with no ambitions or redeeming qualities to speak of. If you just changed the names of these recognizable characters, there would be nothing here for people to watch. Blood and Honey for having such a stupid and pandering ID really has no self-awareness whatsoever and doesn't play at all with how ridiculously stupid its concept is. It is straight up a horrendous film with non-existent characters, bad editing, annoying music, no apparent understanding for the horror genre as a whole, a straight up disgusting fetish for its savage violence, a horribly slow pacing with an abrupt anticlimactic ending, and worst of all, it is so boring with barely any ironically enjoyable scenes inside. Sure, it can be kind of funny here and there to, for example, hear Christopher Robin scream and whine about how Winnie the Pooh and Piglet murder his wife, but the novelty wears off quickly. The directors really bank on its concept, and it is clearly a film made to cash in on the novelty of twisting the usually cute brand in a cheap way. If the cynical intentions weren't apparent enough, a sequel to the movie is already in the works, as their pandering strategy sadly worked. The movie's budget was so low that it surpassed its initial investments by a ton in the box office, just by the word of mouth of there being a Winnie the Pooh horror movie. I fear that this can, in a worst case scenario, be a repeat of the disaster movies we had in the mid 2000s because they had a very similar strategy, pumping out low budget garbage that had enough reference heavy gimmicks to actually make them a profit and continue the cycle. If you still have the urge to ironically watch this for the novelty alone, like I can't blame you really, please find other means to witness it other than watching it in feeders. While these other legal means may at the moment just have an earlier cut of the film looking like it was filmed from a video camera for artistic reasons and having sporadically placed casino comedy bits here and there, if you're watching it for the irony alone, I believe that this may actually be a plus for you here. With all of that said though, I will have to give Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey a 1 out of 10. Do not support this film, I beg of you, please. So this has been Raccoon Animations, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned.